Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is the Locker Gnome Daily Report, or TLDR for short, your daily dose of tech news, gadget views, and other stuff you geeks can use. The Locker Gnome Daily Report is brought to you by GoToAssist from Citrix, and GoToAssist makes it easy to control your IT world from one simple cloud-based platform, provide live or unattended IT support to any PC, Mac, or mobile device from anywhere, and if you didn't know it, you could use your iPad or even Android device in conjunction with the free remote support app. You can... Try it free for 30 days. Just head over to gotoassist.com, click the Try It Free button, and use the promo code PERILLO. Last night, I ordered four iPad minis, one for me, one for Diana, and two for two of you. I'm giving two iPad minis away over the course of the next couple of months, and to qualify for the first giveaway, all you need to do is follow me on Twitter and Instagram. It's really that simple. And I'm going to give the first one away on Thanksgiving Day, the U.S. Thanksgiving Day. But this is open to anybody who lives in the world. This will be... One gift from me to you. But again, all you need to do is follow me on Instagram and Twitter for the first giveaway. Stay tuned for the details on the second giveaway. Now who loves me? According to the free Locker Gnome app available for iOS and Android, Maverick Phillips is our community member of the day. Congratulations and thanks for sharing everything that we produce for you on YouTube and LockerGnome.com. Did you happen to catch my Surface with Windows RT unboxing on YouTube? I haven't done it yet but I will be doing it after I record this particular TLDR. Uh, you could watch that video, of course, in the channel. Microsoft Windows 8 has launched. Did you guys upgrade yesterday? I really wanna know. I'm trying to gauge just how many of you moved to Windows 8, if only because that will help us determine what kind of content we produce. We also posted our review of Fairway Solitaire, a hole in one, and high technology coming to the grave. When you die, what do you want on your gravestone? I don't know if I would go as far as to put like a QR code, but not a hologram, but I, I want like a, a video. Maybe of me decomposing in the casket. That's still up for debate, although I don't know who I would debate on that. But you know, something that would allow me to speak to whoever was at my gravestone. If you are looking for Windows 8 apps, we put our review for Wikipedia for Windows 8 online. Wikipedia has an app because the website wasn't enough. Technology rumors. Why we love to read about what may not be true. There's one thing that frustrates me is the rumors. I don't even like spreading rumors unless I believe I have something to add or a perspective saying, if this rumor is true, then this. If it's not true, then that. But just spreading rumors for rumor's sake just disappoints everybody because inevitably what comes out at the end of the day or week or whenever something is produced is never matching the vision of what we thought it was going to be. Overcoming the A versus B mentality in technology. I keep fighting people. I hate being called a fanboy of one platform over another, uh, quite honestly. I mean, I've got an iPad here. I have a Galaxy Note 2, and I'm about to unbox the service with Windows RT. Really? This, that's, that's what a fanboy? Okay, I'm a fan of technology. Fine. Bam! I don't trust geeks who only live on one platform over another, and this article speaks directly to that because then they lack perspective and they lack experience. And so when they're talking to you, they're not talking as if they have used something, they're projecting their beliefs. And that's just not ever going to lead to a fruitful discussion. It's not A versus B across the board. If you are only living in one universe, you have to know and understand both sides for their benefits and shortcomings. Microsoft set to allow mature games in European Windows 8 store. Oh, so does that mean I won't be able to get Leisure Suit Larry in the Windows store in the Americas? Citigroup star tech analyst Mark Mahaney fired over leaks to TechCrunch. Another reason I never sign embargoes, or very rarely. And when I do, inevitably I accidentally violate them. Never ask me to sign an embargo or an NDA. I've signed so many NDAs, I can't even talk to my dog. Bad day for the cloud, Dropbox and Google App Engine experiencing outages. Apparently North America is getting hammered and maybe it's related to the storm there on the East Coast. I feel sorry for you if you're over there. People behind Uber want to do the same thing for private planes with Black Jet. Well, as my friend Lamar Wilson says, always bet on black. The question of the day is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. You can save 20% on your entire order by using the coupon code GO20OFF9 and the link of course is in the video description. And the question is, why was the iPad 4 or the fourth generation iPad announced 
months after the new iPad or the iPad third generation. And many people have theories on this. Here's my perspective on the matter. Uh, the release of it now is to coincide with the release of something else. You know how much this costs? $4.99. You know how much this would cost if it was a 16 gig unit? $4.99. So now you have shoppers who don't have either. So it's not targeted towards you if you have an iPad, potentially, because you have an iPad and you may very well be happy with it. I've yet to find a disappointed iPad owner. Thanks again for not just watching, but participating, commenting, asking questions, sharing the content we're producing for you because we appreciate, well, closing that circle because you are a part of the circle. This is the circle of trust right here and you're, you're in it. Stay in it because we love you. We'll see you later.